These two former champions will take on each other at the Staples Center September 8th. I'm talking about Fernando Vargas and Ricardo Mayorgan. They join us this evening from Miami and Los Angeles. This was the scene just a few short days ago back on July the 11th at the press conference at the Staples Center. And I'm going to make and I'm going to make you I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to give your wife a favor. I'm going to do your wife a favor and not let her cry anymore after they disfigure every time that you go into the ring. This melee ensued. Order was finally restored. A lot of pointing, some pushing and shoving. Punches were traded. As you can see, Fernando Vargas highly agitated, as is Mayorga. Mayorga starting it with the comments about Vargas's wife. Fernando, what from your perspective happened just a few short weeks ago at the Staples Center at that press conference? Well, I mean, uh, he can say what he wants to say, but at the same time, when you think you're gonna put your hands on me, you lost your mind, you know what I mean? I'm the type of individual, you come shake my hand, I'm gonna shake your hand, but you think you know, you want to spit flames, I spit flames. So he thought that I was going to, you know, let myself get backhanded. And he lost his mind. So he wanted to make it a street fight. We made it a street fight right there. And I'll finish the rest September 8th. How much of this will linger in your mind? Can you put this past you or is this something that is going to linger? Nothing lingers. Um, it's been past my mind. It's, in, it's on his mind. If, it, if he would have done what I did to him at the press conference, you know, it would have been on my mind, but you know what I mean? I got him, so mentally, you know, he's still thinking about it. He's still, you know, he had to eat the embarrassment of all his friends talking to me, did you see Feroz, he got you, whatever, or man, they, you know, at the press conference, you try to slap him and then you got your ass kicked. So, you know what I mean? He has to eat that up. And so, you know, he's still thinking about that. Felix De Jesus will now interpret for Ricardo. <clears throat> Ask please, Felix Ricardo, what made him speak? Because it's always volatile when you bring in someone's mother or someone's wife. What made him go in that direction and does he regret it? Eh, Ricardo, en la situación durante la conferencia de prensa, ¿por qué traíste a colación la madre o la esposa de Fernando Vargas? No, 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 señor, que me, que me mentó mi mamá primero, fue él. Después de la discusión y de los golpes que hubieron, él fue el que me dijo que se iba a coger a mi mamá. Entonces ahí fue donde yo le mencioné a su mujer y a su mamá. Que sea hombre y reconozca las cosas. Si no, cállate, lo cinco, cállate, cállate. He basically said to he was the first one, Fernando, who started started mentioning his mother, and then that's when uh, Ricardo answered. He back started. To he first. He was the first one to say that he was going to retire me, so my wife wouldn't be crying. Every time they look my, that they leave my face like a monster, and I said, what about your face? What about your face, the way they leave your face, you jackass? And I said a few other things, and he didn't like it. And so when he, you know, he couldn't take it no more, he tried to backhand me, and that's when I put it on his ass. Felix, please interpret that. Ricardo, sí, dice Fernando que fuiste tú que le dijiste que a él la cara se le pone un monstruo después de las peleas y le, le mencionaste a la esposa, que la esposa va a llorar eh, cuando lo ve así, con esa cara lleno de cortadas y todo. ¿Y eso qué tiene que ver? And what does that have to do? Well, that's why he got his ass kicked. Por eso fue que te dieron, dice él. Que la Por cara eso tuya te dieron la madre, baboso. Oye, Varga. Quiero que sepas algo. Sí. Después que ¿Qué? te dije fracasado, después que te dije fracasado en dos rounds en, en el ring, tu madre va, va a ser la peor piedrera y borracha y puta de todo ese guaputa país. ¿oíste? After you see that, Ay, porque ya no, va, ya no vas a poder ya no la vas a poder mantener, maricón. You're not gonna y entonces va a estar puteando ahí para vivir ella. And you're gonna, she's gonna Cállate have to los cinco pendejo. A Tú ni puedes Fernando, pagar tus pinches Fernando, carros, baboso. Fernando, hold on a second. We've got to get you to speak in English. We have an English speaking audience. All right, sure, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Some people in Spanish, but if you're going to go in that, in that direction, nobody's going to understand right. what's going on. So could, if you could please well, respond in English. So let me, let me ask you a question here. Hold go on. Ahead. Let me ask you a question and you can just respond. How much of this is to sell the pay-per-view? The tickets are sold out, basically. The Staples Center is going to have a 
I don't need a sellout. I mean, I, I thank God, you know, each fight that I've gone, that I've, that I've fought, you know, anywhere, Chicago, um, uh, Texas, um, Arizona, it all sells out. So I'm very thankful and humble to God for everything he's blessed me and my family with. And I keep him close to me, and I'm thankful for him, for what he's blessed me with. So, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't need to sell nothing, but, you know, I, at the same time, I'm not going to let somebody, you know, get up there and try to think he's going to backhand me and then talk about my family and, and, you know, about my wife and then my, and my mother. So as soon as he started talking, you know, about my family and talking, you know, disrespected by my family, I, I disrespected him right back. Fernando, aside from your family, he's also said that you're fat and that you're washed up. And, and I told him I got something fat for him. And, Being he could, he could, and he's gonna see, uh, he's gonna see me at 162 when I weigh in. How fat I'm gonna look, <laughs> and when I'm nice and ripped, and and then he feels the punches. I'm gonna tell him, aquí está el gordo. I'm gonna tell him that, just like that. Does he regret, Felix? Does he regret calling him fat and washed up, and now going to have to possibly pay the price for those comments? Eh, Ricardo, tú dijiste que estaba gordo. Eh, Fernando Vargas en este momento tiene resentimiento por eso, que que haya dicho eso, que él es un gordo, que no está en forma para pelear. Oye, si parece la nana de mi hijo, un poquito gordo de viaje. Yo creo que la nana de mi hijo está en mejor en mejor forma que él. He looks like my son's ass, a little uh, nice and round right now. Jackass. Varga, dame un chance. Déjame prenderme un cigarrito nada más. Déjame prenderme un cigarro y y ya te voy a responder. I'm going to uh, turn on, light up a cigar and then I'm going to respond. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que quiere que le diga? ¿Qué quiere hablar? What do you want to talk about now? Ricardo, and what is your plan? What do you hope to accomplish by taking this fight? Ricardo, ¿qué quieres hacer cuando pelee con Fernando Vargas? ¿Cuáles son los planes tuyos? Bueno, mis planes son lógicamente este, desocuparme temprano. Quiero ver si es verdad que como Como dice él, que es el mexicano, quiero ver si tiene los pantalones bien puestos. Yo quiero que cuando suene la campana, se me pare en el centro del ring y por favor, que no corra. Que hagamos esto rápido, que hagamos esto rápido. Que no, esté haciendo, que no esté haciendo sufrir a la familia de él. Ya, sonó la campana, que se pare y ya, en cuanto lo golpee. Tú vas a pelear no a como yo quiera. Tú vas a pelear como yo quiera. I want to see if he's a real okay. Mexican fighter. I want to see uh, if, when we go toe to toe, if he can handle it. And... Uh, I plan on, ta you know, bringing him to his wife uh, the same way he's finished all his fights. And what was your bueno, response, si Fernando? Bueno, and I bueno, said, and I said, si, and I said, si and I said, correr, si and, correr, and I said, and, and I said, and I said that he's going to fight si the way I want him to fight. And folks, all of this is without Don King instigating. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. If the pre-fight press conference in this conversation is any indication of what's to come at the Staples Center on September 8th, we're going to have quite a fight on our hands. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Gracias, Ricardo. No, gracias a ustedes. Thank you, guys.